The annual British Boxing Board of Control Awards is one of the most prestigious events on the boxing calendar. Some of the great names in domestic boxing have been recognised over the years. And joining me to tell us a little bit more about it is Robert Smith, the General Secretary from British Boxing. Robert, tell us a little bit more about this event. Well, this is a little bit like our Oscars, really. This is the great achievements of people, what the boxers and, and licence holders have done over the, the last season. Boxing is a very serious business. Uh, people have to be professional, do things properly, train very hard. And this is a social evening where actually old rivals, old people who box each other, can sit and talk to each other, talk about their contests, talk about their careers, and it's really enlightening and what they talk about is lovely. Well, thanks very much, Robert, for your no time. Problem. Enjoy your evening. Take care. Thank We've you. seen some great battles over the last 12 months, five in particular getting the plaudits. These are your nominations for Contest of the Year. How does it feel to be up for contest of the year? Yeah, you know, it's honours. Uh, a lot of great fights last, last year. Uh, me and Watson, coach for Fulmerton, uh, started off well. He came back well from the middle rounds. Nice to finish off the fight good. So it was a great fight. It's a fight I want to be involved in more. Gary, what was it like being in the corner that night? Oh, a, a, you know, a massive night of mixed emotions for me because um, obviously the first six rounds, Gavin shot out of the blocks and. You know, it was, it was almost fault, faultless performance the first six rounds and then all of a sudden you could see the tank starting to empty and uh, you know, I had my head in my hands at, at certain points but then you know, he listened to the advice in the call and he just relaxed a little bit and uh, he got his second win and he came storming back. However, on the night it was the epic battle between Kevin Mitchell and John Murray that was recognised as Fight of the Year. Joining me straight from the stage, the two boxers that have won Contest of the Year, both Kevin and John. Kevin, how does it feel to win this award? Yeah, that's my second time winning it in the last few years. Yeah, it's been a good thing, you know. been, been, been winning with a good guy like John. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good thing. And John, how about yourself? Yeah, you know, honour to win it. I mean, it was such a good contest. And, uh, yeah, you know, even though I lost, it's, it's good that I've recognised for being in such a good contest. So, I mean, it was a big night for me, it was a big night for John. I'll, I'll pull through it. I'll, hopefully, next year we can do a, a number two out of it. It is a sport at the end of the day. Me and Kevin are good friends before we got in that ring. We switched it off for the fight, and as you see, we put on a great contest. But after the fight, you know, we're friends again, and, uh, you know, we support each other all, all the time. We are several when we're fighting each other. Looking forward to seeing a rematch. Thanks. Congratulations. George Groves capped off a wonderful year, adding the Sportsmanship Award to his growing list of accolades. You can't let it go to your head. I know that Adam Dolan from day one, so um, no doubt at some point I'll be under criticism. I've been under criticism before. I've had people write me off, and I've come past that now. Um, doing good things and winning, and people are uh, starting to realise my potential. And I'm winning awards for it as well. So um, you know, it's about you know, progressing. I'm not going to. The rest of my laurels are going to um, improve and hopefully we'll have some big super fights next year. The most prestigious award of the evening was for Boxer of the Year. In what's been a great year for boxing in Britain, five names stood out. Ricky Burns. Trying to use his mobility, picking his man off and then stepping away. Amir Khan! Amir Khan, just brilliant! Jamie McDonald! Good combination again for McDonald. With me, I've got two boxers that are nominated for Boxer of the Year, Ricky and Nathan. Ricky, we'll come to you first. How's it feel to be nominated? Um, do you know, I've, I was a, when I was first when I was first told, obviously I was over the moon. Um, it just shows you that all the hard work pays off, and obviously people are recognising it. And Nathan, what's it feel for you to be nominated as well? Yeah, it's great. You know, it's a bonus towards the end of the year because 
when you're fighting, you're just getting on and making sure you get the wins. And then at the end of the year, when you when you're nominated for such awards, you know it's a great feeling and it's a bonus. It caps off the year in style. The award was won by Amir Khan, who sadly couldn't be here. Johnny Nelson caught up with Khan to present him with the award. I just want to thank everyone for voting me the, the best fighter of the year, and I mean, this award's going to go right on the mantelpiece at home, <laughs> and it means a lot to me and my family and everyone. And I just want to thank everyone for the support that they've given me and the motivation, you know, to drive me to go out there and do more. It's been a fabulous night to finish off a wonderful 12 months of boxing and we'll do it all again next year. But for now, I'm off to party with the rest of the guys. Good night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Ricky, you, you uh, um, handed out the, the prize to uh, Amir, Boxer of the Year. Good choice? It was a good choice and what a, way to win, what a year to win it. You know, and you think Amir probably did deserve it, but when you think he, got, he had Cal Flock breathing down his neck, Nathan Cleverly, Ricky Burns, who I have a soft spot for, what a real success story, you know, Ricky mm. Burns has, uh, has been, but uh, Amir Khan just keeps getting better and better with every fight, and uh, now, you know, when you think from where they come from, from the greatest prospect defeat, now they're talking about Mayweather, and he, no one deserves it more than him. Do you think he's the superstar, Alex, that we've been waiting for, Amir Khan? Yeah, most definitely do. I think he very well can be as well, and I think that those fights that he's uh, really looking to you know, get involved in them, I think will come in the next year and I think he's going to shock everyone. Spencer, any particular fight that stands out for you for me? Is that... Well, I mean, listen, the way he came through Maidana was the one, you know, that I think that everyone will remember him coming through that torrid 10th round when, you know, you thought the fight could have been over and he stuck at it, didn't he? You know, and, and then he pulled himself through and won the contest and I think that was the turning point for Amir Khan. That's when we realised, you know, that he, he was going to be as good as he's got. Spencer, everyone will remember as well, the one that won the fight of the year between Murray and Mitchell. Great to see them hugging as yeah, well. Yeah, listen, they're two tremendous, tremendous men, you know, they know that it's a business and the job's done in the ring, but outside the ring, you know, we're all friends and what a tremendous contest and what a, what a hard battle. I mean, that, was, that had to be fight of the year. Alice, were you impressed by the way they, they, they carried us out before, during and after, after yeah, the fight? Yeah, well, I was, uh, I was on the ringside show with them uh, last time down and, and the both of them got on great behind the scenes as well, mm. it's not a show. And then I was fortunate enough to be ringside that night and what a fight it was and I think Kevin Mitchell's performance was fantastic. Talking of sportsmanship uh, of the year, George Groves won that one for, for the way he sort of, I think, handled himself against the onslaught verbally from, from James DeGale. Absolutely, you know, he just didn't set the bait. And I think, uh, <laughs> I think, um, I think DeGale was trying to, you know, bring him, draw him into a fight, draw him into a fight. And, you know, everybody when the fight came along against DeGale, I think everyone expects him to come off his stool like a greyhound out of the traps, you know, and jump all over him. And he didn't, he just did the opposite. Beat the girl at his own game. We, we, you know. we remember the girl in here, don't we? In this studio um, with George Groves and, and, and how he was winding him up and taunting mm. him. But George Groves just conducted himself so yeah. well He's and dealt with it so well. You know, yeah. he knew he knew what James the girl was all about. He knew what James was going to try and do, get inside his head. And, you know, to his credit, he didn't allow that to happen. I'm sure they'll both come on 